Hello, and welcome to the guide on how to use the Oracle Enterprise Manager PagerDuty Ticketing Connector. In this guide, we are going to go over how to manually and automatically create PagerDuty tickets from Oracle Enterprise Manager incidents. As you can see, we have already installed and configured our PagerDuty Ticketing Connector. We're going to start off by showing you how to manually create a PagerDuty ticket from an Oracle Enterprise Manager incident. To do that, we're going to go to Enterprise, Monitoring, Incident Manager. The Incident Manager will show us all the open incidents in Oracle Enterprise Manager. Here, we have an example of a host target that looks like it has a CPU utilization of almost 100%. When I click on it, you'll notice that some information comes up below. In this tracking box, we can go to More, Create Ticket. This will allow us to create a ticket to any connector type or in, and instance that we have set up. And here you can see it's automatically selected our PagerDuty REST ticketing connector uh, of PagerDuty demo of which we created. And then we have uh, the template name that we want to use. We have PagerDuty create and update. And if we click on it, we can also have PagerDuty create, update, and resolve. Both templates will create an incident in PagerDuty, as well as update the title and urgency based on the Oracle Enterprise Manager incident. However, the PagerDuty Create, Update, and Resolve template will also clear the incident in PagerDuty if it is cleared in Oracle Enterprise Manager. For this demo, let's select that one. I'm then going to click OK. And there we go. We see the ticket has been created. And if we go back to our tracking area, we can have see the ticket ID with a link that we can click that will open it up in PagerDuty. In PagerDuty, we can see the incident title. Uh, we can see this in the title, we show the severity with the message from Oracle Enterprise Manager. We can see the urgency which is in PagerDuty high or low. And since this is a critical incident, we have the urgency of high. And then if we scroll down lower, we can see additional details that come with the ticket, like the target type, the target name, and the owner in Oracle Enterprise Manager. We can also see additional information like what operating system it's on, and even give a link back to click back into Enterprise Manager to see the incident. Now let's see what happens if we clear the incident. I'm gonna pause here quickly solve the incident, and then we'll come back to PagerDuty to see what it looks like. Okay, the incident should be resolved. Let's take a look at what it looks like in Oracle Enterprise Manager. I'm going to refresh our incident manager. Okay, we can see in Enterprise Manager, the incident no longer exists. So let's head back to PagerDuty. In PagerDuty, we can see the title now says that it is clear. It's no longer critical. We can also see that the status was resolved and the urgency downgraded to low. Remember, the reason that the status is resolved is because we chose the Create, Update, and Resolve template. If you wish to manually resolve any tickets in PagerDuty, you can choose the Create and Update template, and it will still give you the updates, but let, let the user resolve the incidents themselves. Now that's it for our manual ticket creation. Let's go take a look at what we can do to automatically create tickets. We're going to go back to Oracle Enterprise Manager, click Setup, Incidents, Incident Rules. We're going to create a new rule set for PagerDuty. We'll give it a name called PagerDuty Rule Set. We'll enable this rule set for all targets. And then we're gonna to need to create a new rule. So we'll go to our rules and click create. We'll create this rule for all incoming events and updates to events. We'll say all events of type metric alert. We'll go over to add actions. And this is where we're gonna to say to create a ticket when any of these incidents arise. So we'll click add to our new action. 
Under create incident or update incident, we'll say create incident. And we'll say create ticket. And we're gonna say, we'll use our create update and resolve once again. From there, we'll hit continue. We will go to the next step where we have to give it a name. We'll call this our pager duty. Oh, we'll say, how about this? Create pager duty ticket. And here we can see review everything that we've just done and click continue. We now have our rule set with our rule and we will click save. Now, when any future incident fires, we will see that it will automatically create a pager duty ticket. If at any point we want to disable this, we can select it, click actions and disable, and then the rule will no longer create pager duty tickets automatically. And that's it. You now know how to create a ticket manually as well as automatically. Thanks for watching.